This is 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. At the time of the founding of the American colonies, almost every nation in Europe had an established or official church. People fleeing religious persecution settled many American colonies. However, Most colonies followed the tradition of having established churches, and there was little patience with those who did not belong to the established church. Religious intolerance and persecution of those with non-conforming religious beliefs was commonplace in Anglican Virginia and Congregational, or Puritan, Massachusetts. People were taxed against their will to support state religions and punished for failing to attend public worship and sometimes for heretical or non-conformist opinions. However, religious intolerance did not remain universal in the colonies for long. Intolerance of religious dissent and an unwillingness to separate church and state led to the exile of the dissenting theologian Roger Williams from Massachusetts Bay Colony. In 1636, together with a few friends, Williams secured land from the Indians in what is now Rhode Island. There, he founded a new society based on freedom of conscience, religious toleration, and separation of church and state. This phrase, separation of church and state, refers to the lack of an established church or the state supporting one religion over others. Members of Williams's new colony had to promise to obey the majority, but only in civil things. In 1663, the colony of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations was formally established. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.